Hey, everyone. So, GIF versus GIF. That was a very heated debate. Many years ago, I remember around 2011, that raged a lot on the internet. Is it GIF? Is it GIF? And then it died because the format became really obsolete and nobody really was using it anymore. There's been the WebM thing, really popular in 4chan. There's been, you know, HTML5, and of course there has been Vine, etc, etc. It kind of disappeared from popular culture and internet discussions. And recently, with smartphones and social media, it kind of came back because there are a lot of GIF uh, things embedded in software keyboards and smartphones. There's uh, on Facebook, etc. Nevertheless, I, I thought that it had died, that the debate was forgotten, and that nobody really cared anymore about the pronunciation of GIF. But Recently, there has been a Linus Tech Tips video about um, handy tech under a hundred dollars, something like that. And one of the gadgets that were in the video were some uh, pins, you know, uh, that were basically wearable moving pictures. And that uh, Linus Sebastian, who was hosting, called by the technically correct pronunciation of wearable GIFs. Uh, and then there were the comments, which was uh, just people saying, making jokes about this, saying, oh, graphics, oh, it has to be a hard G because it's graphics. Uh, and it makes sense. Uh, weirdly, it's an argument that you see really a lot on the internet. A lot of people say it's graphics, so it's a hard G. Graphics, interchange format, means it's pronounced GIF. And it's basically the equivalent of saying, if evolution is real, why are there still monkeys? It's this kind of arguments that I would uh, call it sounds logical if you're a moron. Why? And why is GIF the technically correct? I didn't say correct, I said technically correct. Because there are subtleties. So the creator of the format, who was a chick nerd by the name of Steve Wilhite, uh, actually created the name in reference to his uh, favorite peanut butter brand. GIF, and so he intended the name to be pronounced exactly as the peanut butter brand, GIF. So, according to the creator of the format, who is also the creator of the acronym, the correct pronunciation is GIF. So, basically everyone knows that, and a lot of people are saying stuff like, yeah, he made a rule, but the rule is wrong, so I keep saying GIF because it makes sense, because it stands for graphics, Ugh. which is really, really dumb uh, when you know how the pronunciation of acronyms work in English. Because in English, there is no academia, like in many languages. There have never been a bunch of people who are there to establish rules about how things are pronounced and especially acronyms there has never been any written rule about how acronyms should be pronounced in English like there, really there is zero grammatical rule about the pronunciation of acronyms in English so technically uh, if the creator decided that it's pronounced GIF, then it should be pronounced GIF. But more importantly, if every acronym was pronounced the way that the GIF people want it, which is based on the pronunciation of the individual words that compose the acronym, then LASER would be pronounced LAZER, 
a pin number would be pronounced pine, and the Time magazine would be pronounced Timmy. And that's just, that just ain't right, is it? That is just plain dumb. So it's not the first time that the word of a creator is ignored. Um, especially in this domain, there's a really close example to our subject, which is the PNG format. Everyone who knows about PNG says PNG. PNG is a great underrated format. Basically, it's JPEG, but good. But the creator um, had intended for it to be pronounced ping. So the PNG images uh, should actually be pronounced ping, which, yeah, it's kind of dumb. Even if there's no real rule in English about the pronunciation of acronyms. So the bottom line is, the bottom line is, because I don't want this video to be 10 minutes long. So it's, uh, you probably see me, you probably see me coming for, for, for a while now. The bottom line is that there is no correct pronunciation of GIF or GIF or as I've heard some people say it, HIF. Because why not? Because why not? Because there is no grammatical official rule about the pronunciation of GIF or GIF. But because of all that, everything that I've said, um, I just want you to stand up to the bullying. Don't let other people step on your toes because you used a wrong pronunciation because there is no right pronunciation of Jeff. Everybody's pronouncing it wrong or everybody's pronouncing it right, which is the same. And there is no correct pronunciation. But in the grand scheme of things, still, um, the people who say GIF are wrong, but the people who say GIF are wronger than wrong. And really, that whole argument about it's GIF because it's graphics is absolute bullshit. And should not be taken seriously because it's just a load of crap and it doesn't stand up to any of the standards of acronyms of pronunciation of language of logic or anything it's just crap don't let anyone tell you that the correct pronunciation is gif stop the lies stop the lies Thanks for uh, watching, and um, see you uh, really soon.